Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about markups and markdowns. So we're going to do a couple problems together in the first couple of pages, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. So what exactly is a markup? Well, a markup is the amount added by the seller to the cost of an item. Let's write that down inside this box. So again, it's the amount added by the seller to the cost of an item. So an example of a markup, markup would be, say if you wanted to buy a television. Well, so say you go into Walmart or, or Best Buy and you notice that the television costs, say $500. Well, most likely, Best Buy didn't pay $500 for that TV. They probably paid $300. And what they do is they add a certain percentage to the price so they make a profit. All right? So let's do a problem here together. So it says find the selling price of a television where the cost of the television was $350, but then it's marked up 30%. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a proportion. And again, it's going to be a certain type of percent proportion. So we're going to have 100 be down here. And we know that 100% of the price right now is $350. So the $350 is going to go across from the $100. But the company decides to add an additional 30% um, to, the, to the original cost. So we're going to have this one be 130 So notice I added 30% to the 100 and that makes it 130 and this will, right over here, this end value will be the actual uh, cost of, of the television. So now that we have our proportion, we can write our equation. So 100 times n is 100 n. That equals 350 times 130. That gives us 45,500. And again, the way I wrote this equation is anytime you have two equal ratios, you know their cross products are the same, right? So n times 100 is 100 n, and that equals 350 times 130. So now when I solve the equation by dividing both sides by 100, we end up with n is going to be $455. So that's actually the cost of the TV that the seller would sell it for. So they bought it for 350 the markup was 30%, and that made it to $455. All right, so if you turn the page, Let's now take a look at the opposite of a markup, but say a markdown, all right? So a markdown is, again, is the opposite of a markup. A markdown is basically a reduction in the price. So let's write that down here, a reduction in the price. Now, a really good example of a markdown would be Halloween candy, okay? If you want a really good deal on Halloween candy, buy it the day after Halloween because everybody's bought it, right? And, and the stores want to basically get rid of all their product. So it, they, they have more room on the shelves. So the markup is when the price is actually reduced. So let's t do a problem over here. It says, determine the new cost of a camera if the original price was $400 and there's a 22% discount, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up another proportion and the 100 is here. And just like the original, the first problem, we're going to put the original price across from the hundred. So that's going to be four hundred dollars. Now, above the hundred is always the percentage, but notice we're only going to pay twenty-two percent less than the full amount, right? So if I do up here a hundred, take away twenty-two percent, that will give us seventy-eight percent. All right, so this is going to be seventy-eight percent over here and this will be the unknown, all right? So really important, notice on the other page, when it was a markup, I added the percentage to 100, like 130. But when it's a discount, I subtracted the percentage uh, from 100. So now that we have a proportion, we can use a little algebra to solve it now. So 100 times n is 100 n, and that's gonna equal 78 times 400, which is 31,200. And then finally divide both sides by 100. And n is going to be 300 and 
12. So that's the new cost of the camera um, after the 22% uh, markdown or, or the discount. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So we know that an Xbox is advertised for $250 and is discounted 20%. Determine the new cost of the Xbox. So because it's gonna be marked down, we know that the cost is gonna, is gonna be less than 250. So what I did is, is I set the proportion already. So we have 100 in the denominator and notice I have 80 on the top. Now the way I got 80 is again, I subtracted 20% from 100% and that's how I get 80%. So because the original is 250, that goes across from the 100. And then the N is the unknown. So now we'll use algebra to solve, so it's gonna be 100N equals 250 times 80 gives you 20,000. And now when I divide both sides by 100, 20,000 divided by 100 is 200. And there's the answer. So the Xbox was discounted or marked down by 20%. The new cost is $200. All right, how'd you do?